Hi, what is going on, everybody? So today we're talking about the Binance news. Um, as you probably already heard, CZ, this is his latest uh, post on X. He said, today I stepped down as CEO of Binance. Admittedly, it was not easy to let go emotionally, but I know it is the right thing to do. I made mistakes and I must take responsibility. This is the best for our community, for Binance and for myself. Binance is no longer a baby. It's time for me to... Let it walk and run. I know finance will continue to grow and excel with deep bench it has. I'm pleased to announce that Richard Tang, our new formal global head of regional markets, has been named the new CEO of Binance today. Uh, Richard is a highly qualified leader, and with over three decades of financial services and regulatory experiences, he will navigate the company through its next period of growth. He will ensure Binance delivers on our next phase of security transparency, compliance, and growth. Uh, prior to joining uh, Binance, Richard was a CEO of the Financial Service Regulatory Authority at Abu Dhabi Global Market, ADGM, Chief of Regulatory Office of the Singapore Exchange, SGX, and Director of Corporate Finance in the Monetary Authority of Singapore. So who is Richard Tang? He is the new CEO of Binance. He says it's an honor. And with this is his latest um, um, post here. It's an honor and with the deepest hu humility that I step into the role of Binance's new CEO. Uh, we operate the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange by volume. There's trust placed on us by our 150 million users and, th and thousands of employees is a responsibility that I take seriously and hold dear. So what has this done to the Binance chart? Um, the whole cryptocurrency as a whole. Right now we're looking at Bitcoin, 36,000. Uh, Ethereum's at 19, 1,948. BNB is down to 227.64. So we're going to see because this news, the press conference just came out. Let that sink in and see how the world is going to take it. But right now, the price of BNB is going down a little bit. So I would expect a dip. I would think and I would hope that Binance is going to recover from this because Binance is a huge part of the cryptocurrency as a whole. So and you might have a dip in the chart, but I'm not too worried about Binance totally going under or anything like that. Uh, we'll see if Richard Tang, how the future of Binance goes, but not too worried about it right now. But leave me your, leave me your thoughts in the comments. What do you think this Binance news is going, how is it going to affect the crypto market? I mean, in my opinion, it's like they got the bad part out of Binance because he already pleaded guilty. So he pleaded guilty. So he's guilty. He's admitting it. So now that they removed CZ from the equation, I'm assuming it's only up from here for Binance. Unless there's more behind the scenes that's going to, we'll find out in the future that was damaged and is unrepairable, which I don't see. But as for right now, I can see the dip in price because of the news, but I... I'm thinking it will recover and maybe even be stronger than it was before. We'll see. Let me know your comments down below on uh, on what you think. That's all I got for you today. I just wanted to bring you guys the news. I'm Chaka Crypto. This is the Chakaverse, and I will see you in the metaverse. Peace. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to check out this video, just uh, click right there. And if you want to subscribe, you just uh, click right there. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Later. Chocker facts, I'm out speaking chocker words, we are making chocker raps, we call this the chocker